we talked about this whole thing in detail, right? Before Danny Jacobs and Golovkin even got into negotiations, we heard about how the WBA was supposed to be or saying they wanted to only have one title in each division, right? One title, one number one contender. And before we get any deeper into it, that does not mean one super champion, one regular champion, and one interim champion. So let's break it down real quick for those who don't know. The WBA has two main belts that they say they've been trying to get rid of. They have the Super World Championship and the World or the Regular Championship. To put things in perspective, when Golovkin fought Danny Jacobs, Golovkin was the Super World Champion, Danny Jacobs the Regular Champion. So it was somewhat of a of, of a of a um, unification, consolidation of belts. So to even break it down even further, when Floyd Mayweather was 147-pound WBA champion, Keith Thurman was 147-pound world champion. When Floyd Mayweather at the same time was 154-pound world champion, no super world champion, it was Lady Laura was the 154-pound world champion. They were not Floyd Mayweather's mandatories. The WBA, because of a heavyweight tournament that they started, was it close to two years ago now that it's all fucked up now? But basically, you have Anthony Joshua taking on Vladimir Klitschko for a vacant Super World Championship. How do you fight when one champion's for another? You Whatever. Whatever. Then you have Shannon Briggs versus Fresno Quindo. That's a whole different situation for the WBA World Championship. So for the division where they said they were going to get rid of the titles for it was going to trickle down to other divisions, they broke the belt back. This is just two fights. What's that? Three fights I talked about, like with the WBA. For them to be the oldest or the oldest boxing organization, right? They shit is all fucked up. And, they, and and it's like, understand that the more belts, simply put, the more money, the more sanctioning fees, right? The more titles, the more sanctioning fees. So now they have Hassan Endon, who competed in the Olympics, who, if I'm correct, he can't be ranked by the WBC or the IBF, right? Remember that? Hassan Endom was made the WBA interim champion after beating Alfonso Blanco, who was the mandatory at that time for Chris Eubank. Chris Eubank and Alfonso Blanco was two interim champions at one point in time. So he vacated his title. Alfonso Blanco ended up being the interim champion. Hassan Endom beat him. Now Hassan Endom is going to fight um, uh, Ryota Mar um, Ryota. Morata, he's a very good fighter. I've seen him fight a couple of times. He's 12 and 0 with nine KOs. And if I'm correct, let me check real quick. I want to see if he's a top ranked fighter or not. If I'm correct, but basically now the winner of this is fighting. Okay, they're fighting for the belt that Golovkin just beat Dana Jacobs for on May the 20th, and they're now supposed to be, but we don't know because the WBA don't have to order. Maruda or, or Endom versus Golovkin or whoever has a WBA at that time. So, you know, I'm frustrated because, listen, I'm, um you know, on my Twitter, you know, and it's, a, I'm, let me tell you, it's in, in the email, long story short, you know, the WBC, the, the section and bodies, they send you emails about shit, you know, about their news and everything like that. So, you get it straight from the horse's mouth. But in this case, I'm thinking... Like, to myself, like, how is this possible? He just, they just got, okay. There's one WBA champion, right? There's one WBC champion at 160, that's Golovkin. There's one IBF champion at 160, that's Golovkin. There's now one WBA champion at 160, that's Golovkin. Billy Joe was the WBO champion. So now, when Hassan and Dom and, and uh, Murata take on each other, there's going to be another champion. So therefore, this is, this is madness, man. And it's like, we're in a social media age, you know? You think we're going to forget when y'all said y'all was going to get rid of the title, you know? So why couldn't you just have, you know, um, Marauder fight, just keep fighting for the interim? I don't care if it's an interim title, because even an interim title is only supposed to be in place when either a fighter is injured or there's some, you know, um, some 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 um extraordinary circumstances, some shit like that. So basically, I can under I can understand the the WBA interim situation for for the WBA because 
Danny Jacobs was just a mandatory, so now Golovkin's got to fight that WBC mandatory, who's that going to be? That IBF mandatory, who's that going to be? You know, and or, or Billy Joe Saunders. So I can say, okay, they can tell whoever is fighting for that WBA. Well, listen, um, since we got Golovkin, who's our, a unified champion, right? You're going to have to wait a little while because he just fought his WBA mandatory. So you might not be able to get your shot for like another year, year and a half or so. So I can understand to that to that extent. And also, when you look at when you're a super champion, the super champion is made super champion so they can have more time to fight mandatories. That's the definition. But in this case, I don't think they really thought it through on how they were really going to get rid of that other title. So it's like this. I know the WBA rules about the um about the regular title and the super championship. So According to the WBA rules, what they're doing is not wrong in their rule book. It's not wrong in their rule book. You know, for them to have a regular champion and a super champion, because a super champion is only supposed to be a unified champion. So it's not wrong, but it's like, well, why would y'all tell us you don't give it all the titles then? They didn't think that shit through. It's not our fault. Y'all said that we're going to change our rule book or change our rules about the shit. Get rid of the title. They're just sick of this other fucking battle. We're sick of the shit. And this is not just me. It's all these other boxing journalists. Everybody's sick of this shit. You can't just say, just have matches be ordered and shit. And then people are say, well, wait a minute. I remember writing this article or doing this video in praise about how the WBA is finally turning shit around and they're getting rid of that other, that other title. It's madness, man. It's madness. But, you know, it is what it is. The fight's going to be taking place on uh, May the 20th. I'm going to be covering the fight. That's what I was looking up. If I'm correct, isn't uh, Marotta a top-ranked fighter? Hmm. Because that could play... Uh, that could play a part, too. Let's see who his promoter is. Give me one minute. I believe he's... Let me see. Let me see. Who is his promoter? Hmm. Yeah, he's got... He signed... Okay, he's with top rank. So so that plays a part as well. Top rank is very powerful. So top rank probably went to the WB and like, look, we don't give a fuck about that shit y'all was talking about, about removing that belt. We want our fighter to have a championship. You know, so that could play a part. But it's like, yo, man. It's like, it's like this, this it doesn't help boxing. This WBA world title does not help boxing. It doesn't help boxing. And what does it do? It pisses fans off and it pisses boxing journalists off. It pisses us off. Look, I'm pissed. So I can understand it helps the fighters get a championship to say, oh, yeah, I got that championship. But guess what? You got that underling belt, bro. You got that little brother belt. It's not even a real belt. So you can't really say you're the champion when there's a super champion above you. That's your mandatory, even though the WBA says it's not. But nobody's ever going to recognize your belt. Nobody's going to be like, well, well, he's the real world champion. Yeah, of course you're going to say he's a champion, but you're not. The, it's always going to be say, well, he's not the real champion. Anyway, I'm teaching controversy. This is teaching controversy live. We're back in the saddle, pumping up videos, uh, three to five a day. Um, I'm going to see um, if we can talk to uh, Frank Warren, you know, over there at Box Nation and BT Sports. You know, well, not me, myself, but um, a friend of mine is going over there tomorrow and see if we can actually ask him about What's his thoughts on the WBA two title situation, especially when you have his fighter, Billy Joe Saunders, who's in who's in negotiations to fight Golovkin, even though Billy Joe Saunders is talking all this crazy shit, you know? So now if you really look at it, the winner of this really may not be the mandatory for Golovkin. It's like if they like what's the what's the point of being undisputed? How are you gonna be undisputed when there's another belt still out there? You might as well count, no disrespect to the IBL, oh, fuck it. You might as well count that WBA belt as the IBL belt. You know? I'm pissed off at the WBA, man. And it's a shame. And, and even looking at other times, they did it. For example, you have Lamont Peterson, right? Who's the WBA world at 147 and Keith Thurman at WBA Super World. But guess what? Keith Thurman was elevated because of Floyd Mayweather got, got retired. And then the shady ass shit. Shane Mosley did. Shane Mosley went to a barbecue down in Panama with the no bullshit. With the WBA president came back. He was the number one contender. Oh, came back. He was put into a fight to be the number one contender to fight Lamont Peterson, who's now the champion. But now they're saying 
Lamont Peterson, or he's saying that he's the mandatory for Keith Thurman. This WBA shit is weird, and I'm sick of it. <laughs> this WBA shit is weird, and I'm sick of it. But it's going to be a good fight. I'm just pissed off about the bell. You know, so it's going to be on uh, May the 20th. Could it end up on HBO or likely top-ranked TV? But where's it going to be? We need to see where it's going to be. It's going to be in Japan. Hmm. I'm, gonna have a, I'm, I'm still going to watch the fight. It's going to be in Japan. I'm going to watch it, though. But anyway, I'm Teacher Controversy. This is Teacher Controversy Live. We'll cover every single major fight live. All links to my social media right there below in the description box. Please subscribe.